Hi everyone, Aiden here with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at this Rhino Rack Roof Rack for your 2022 Toyota RAV4. Now it's going to be the RAV4 with the flush rails and what that means is these bits right here. So some RAV4s might have a naked roof where there aren't any rails at all, it's just straight into the roof. You will need a different kit for that. Or you might have raised rails which have a gap underneath them and again you'll need a different kit for that. With these ones, we just have a small rail that's raised up above the roof of the car, and we've got some points where we can attach a roof rack to these fixed threaded holes. So if you have that style of roof, this is the video for you. Now this kit is going to be utilizing Rhino Rack's Vortex Aero Bars. So we can see by the shape here, it's kind of thin in the front, gets thicker in the middle, and then tapers off on the back. So they're gonna be really aerodynamic, cut down on that wind noise and be nice and strong for any of our attachments. On the top here, we do have our weather stripping. So that's going to cover up the T-slot channel, excuse me, where we can add in accessories if we'd like to, if we don't want to clamp them around the bars. And having this channel in here with the rubber on top is going to cut down on that wind noise so we don't hear that whistling going down the road. Each bar is going to be 49 inches long and they come in the option of black or silver bars. We've got the black ones on this RAV4 today, and if I do say so myself, I think it matches really well, but you can color match it to your vehicle if you've got a different color RAV4. They are going to have a 165 pound weight capacity as well, so just be mindful of that when you are loading up your accessories, maybe if you're putting a basket on there, load it up with the appropriate amount of gear so we're not exceeding that capacity. Now every part of this kit is going to lock. Our end caps for the crossbars here have this plastic lock core, which requires Rhinorak's special tool to remove. So you can just pop that off. That's how we can access that weather stripping with the T-slot channel. And just as easily, we can pop that back on and resecure it. If you want actual lock cores, you can pick those up separately if you'd like. And you can get them keyed alike to the lock cores on your legs here. Now these are going to be a little bit difficult to access just because of how low profile it is, but you really only need to get to them if you plan on removing the roof rack when it's not in use. Otherwise, you can just leave that on and covered, locked up, and you know that no one's going to be able to mess with it. Now, I did mention this is a very low profile kit, and it is, but you probably want to know exact measurements here. So as far as how much clearance you have from the bottom of the bar to the bottom of your roof rack here, it is going to be about two and three quarters of an inch. And then as overall height added goes, we're gonna be looking at four and a quarter of an inch added from the top of the roof to the top of the bar here. So in the grand scheme of other roof racks that I've worked with, that is pretty low profile while still leaving a good amount of space underneath for those clamp around accessories if you need them. And the thing that makes this the best fit for our flush rail here is the base kit. That's going to have these custom made pieces that wrap around and contour to those flush rails. There are going to be special threaded holes on your vehicle ready to go to secure these. So everything's a really sleek fit. We're not gonna have any gaps for wind noise and it's going to get the roof rack really secure. If you're not sure if this is the right kit for you, make sure to use our website's fit guide, enter in your vehicle information and the roof type, and you should be able to find the right roof rack kit for your RAV4. And speaking of that straightforward installation process, let's check that out right now. So we're starting off on top of the vehicle here. We want to go to our flush rails. We'll notice that on each corner, there's gonna be these little cutouts with a small tab. What you're gonna do is take a small flat bladed screwdriver or a plastic trim tool if you've got one small enough. I've wrapped our screwdriver in electrical tape just to protect the plastics up here. And you're gonna want to find that notch on each of those little panels and simply insert that screwdriver and just softly pry up. You'll feel two tabs release right there. And we can just set this to the side for now. From here, we can take the pieces of our base kit. Now, each one's going to be a little bit different, but luckily for us, we've got everything labeled. So right here, we can see on the surface, this says FR for front right, and it's got an arrow pointing towards what would be the front of the vehicle. So this goes on our passenger side in the front. 
You're gonna have that same thing for the front left, the rear left, and the rear right. So just make sure you put the right one in the right place and we can just drop it down over top of that hole. You see it fits really well. We'll take these provided bolts, drop that through the large hole and our Allen key that is also included in the kit and we can thread that in to the existing hole that's threaded on our vehicle. We'll start to feel a little bit of resistance there. You don't need to torque this down like crazy, but you can see it's nice and solid right there. And we can repeat that on the other side. As far as assembling our crossbar goes, it's gonna be pretty straightforward. We're gonna first remove our end cap with our included tool. We can then take our foot here and slide that bolt into the bottom track here. And we can do that just to about there. And what I'm gonna actually do is snug this up most of the way so that it doesn't necessarily move on its own, but we can still move it by pushing it ourselves. Now I'm going to re-secure that end cap and we can actually take this up to the roof of the vehicle. Now, on each of the feet, we've got two small tabs that'll line up with the base kit. Now those aren't actually doing anything to necessarily secure the crossbar to the roof, but it will help us line things up. So the reason we left those a little bit loose is so we can kind of push it, adjust it into place, maybe slide this crossbar back and forth if we want to get it more even. And once we're happy with about where it is, we can just flip it over. We can come back and fully tighten these down. Since they are mostly snugged up, they aren't gonna move around on us, so this should be just fine. We can make that final tightening adjustment on both sides. Now we can take our 10 millimeter bolt, add our lock washer and our flat washer. And that's actually gonna go right in this small hole right here on the foot. That'll line up with a threaded hole on the base plate there. You can feel it start to sort of thread in right about there. It is pretty low clearance in here, so it might be a bit difficult to get started by hand. What I found helpful is actually having a ratcheting wrench on hand. And what you can do is just use that to tighten it down. You can kind of hold the head of the bolt while you pull it back. That way it just doesn't spin on you. And then you can run it down until it's nice and snug on both sides. Once that's been done on both sides, you can add your covers to your feet and lock it up with the included key, just like that. And just like that, your installation is complete. This whole kit is super simple to get installed. And because of the way everything attaches to the vehicle, it's on there really strong. And I feel super confident about it going down the road. I think it's gonna be a really nice addition to your RAV4 here and offer a lot of extra functionality for you. Thanks for watching.